Uh, there are definitely some things that are a little bit dated. It's a little bit sexist. Um, I don't think that they could get away with some of the stuff that they got away with back in 2001 when this episode came out. What was um, sexist about it? Uh, well, I guess what, what I, try, I made some notes here. What, let me go back to my. Oh, so, you oh, should have was, had the notes pulled up. There was, I know, the, I'm my notes there was the there was the line where uh, after JD first met Elliot, the girl that's in the in, in your picture there, um, he's like watching her walk up the stairs, and he's like, "It's like Pringles. two Pringles hugging." Yeah. <laughs> Which I well, first I was of all, it's just weird, but uh, yeah. <laughs> I was too stuck on trying to think like. Is that a compliment? Is that is he saying that her ass is like <laughs> fucked up? Like what? Yeah, is... but just the fact that he's kind of like commenting on her ass is right. is, is like in like a dudeish way, kind of mm -hmm. a, like a kind of objectifying her a little bit. I'll say that what I what I found to be disappointing. I didn't really have the too many expectations, but the part that really got me was how just unrealistic it was. How quickly and easily they have some kind of romantic chemistry and connection. Like immediately he's like, hey, you want to go to dinner with me? I was like, okay, that's possible. She could hit it off with the guy and she'd be like, hey, he's nice. I'm single. He's cool. No strings attached. Let me, let's go out and have fun. Doesn't mean we're dating. Doesn't mean anything. Sure. That's, that part's believable. But then at the end when she gives him a kiss, I'm like Christ, guy, this, have you, do you know men and women like in this world? Do people kiss at the end of a, their first shift? I don't know. Is that? Well, it wasn't like a super passionate kiss. Still, it was more just like a peck on his, like, like half of his lip. Or... Absolutely. But we're not in France. Uh, what do you think, Camille? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if that's the way shifts are supposed to be on your first day, I've been doing it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Get with the but, program. Right. Um, so, yeah, I do agree that it was a little bit sexist and I just felt like as much as it had its moments and it is funny and I do agree that it is very real as far as the emotional, I didn't feel much of a connection with the characters at all mm. in the first episode. I was just like, okay, some guy starting his first shift, but I don't really care. Like they didn't do anything in the first five minutes for, re for me to really care about this character or relate to him because I'm not a doctor nor a nurse so I have no medical experience whatsoever but I felt like they should have added something that you could relate to him as a hey look he's just like all of us hmm. other than the first day jitters but hmm, I don't know I don't know I'm trying to think it I, I felt like he was I maybe he wasn't relatable I felt like he was relatable but I think it wasn't so much that he was relatable, but more that the the way they presented it was that we can see ourselves in that position. Not that we could see ourselves in his shoes or with his yeah. personality or the things that he does, but just like, what would I do if I have to stick a needle in a gut and it's <laughs> right. spraying back up at me or what, what, you know, but obviously they weren't really going too much for realism. There's a lot of fantasy mm -hmm. in there. Like the racing right. scene was hilarious when he's got the coffee and he's just throwing it all <laughs> over himself shaking his hair well and that's definitely something that you see later throughout this the series too is all these kind of flashbacks and flash fantasies is what i'll say um is is more more what you get is you get like i guess it's uh c cutaways right they cut away to like mm -hmm. oh that's like if uh if if this kind of thing happened and then you cut away to that you know kind of thing happening in his imagination and it's mostly takes place inside of like JD's head, right? I mean, the first episode is called My First Day. Mm -hmm. And actually every episode is like, my this, my this. Uh, there's one episode called My Ocardial Infarction, which is a heart attack. That's uh, like the medical term for a heart attack. Um, and it's just, it's all my, because it's from his perspective. You have, it's what's, what's running through his head. And there are a few episodes where it's like his story or her story or their story where they go into other people's heads. But like 90% of the 99% of the series is from JD's perspective.